Okay, so I got, this is going to be the uh, demonstration of the Spooky uh, remote. And um, using quantum entanglement and whatever you want to call it. But uh, I think John White explains much better the program. And uh, I'm going to try to uh, just go over the program real briefly. I'm just going to pick something really weird here. Uh, uh, sexual weakness or something, you know. <laughs> just so you double click this on. And you notice it goes down here, and then it gets, you click on this button here. I have one device hooked up to it by USB, and uh, here's the device itself. And I'm going to see this. Actually, you probably should use uh, two of these spooky remote devices versus one, because you have two outputs. You have out one and out two, and uh, out two could be running the carrier wave. Carrier wave being like down here, if you could see that. The 30, uh, 3 million, 3 megahertz, 3.1 megahertz. That's the carrier signal. So I should probably get a second one of these things. But what happens is you take a um, fingernail clipping, and it's inside here. It's actually you put it inside the, uh, you wrap it, you fold over some masking tape. And I kind of measured, you know, where's there going to be the uh, the middle here. So when I put it in, so you put it between these two things here. So it sits right smack in the middle there. And uh yeah, dropping things here. <laughs> Just put it right smack in the middle. It's kind of delicate. Holding a piece of tape here. But anyway, um you just put it right smack in the middle where that bullseye is. And uh what happens is you uh run the program, you click on here, like I think John White explains the program, but I guess if you want to see the device, it's it's hooked up here. Regular connections, coaxial connections. I got it on out one. And actually, I probably should use two of them. And I'm, I'm going to get another one right now, I guess, or maybe next week or something. And uh, use the second one as a carrier wave. And the way this is supposed to work is um, uh, quantum entanglement. <laughs> it's a scientific principle uh, by Einstein. And um, hey, what the hell, right? So. I like gadgets, so what the hell? Here we go. Click it on. Start it. Now, actually, these these frequencies, 20, 727, and 880, you know, I said uh, sexual weakness, but actually, they're very common frequencies. Um, 20, 727, 787, and 880 are very common frequencies. And uh, 10,000 is like, I think it's, if I got this correctly, you know, there's a lot of stuff. I, hopefully, I'm not giving it bad information, but it's actually the frequency of the, of the cells. So what it helps is to uh, basically bring the f frequencies of the cells up. The 10,000 frequency is considered like a healing frequency in a way, not against something that's a microbe. It's just something to help bring the cells up to normal frequency. So you hit start, and then it loads the waveforms. And I don't have to be near the device. What goes on is, you know, it's putting a signal out and, uh, you know, through the ge signal generator itself, it's going through the DNA, it's coding to my DNA, it's going to me specifically, it's supposed to work over any distance still. Now, I don't feel nothing, but, um, you know, total run time, 16 minutes, I'll leave this on and we'll see how it works. Now, I'm a little curious that, you know, while I'm using a Lukoski device with this, as this frequency is actually going through my body, supposedly, through via DNA on the fingernails, uh, through this device, and I use the Lukoski device at the same time. I'm almost thinking, you know, it's a theory. I don't know. It's a guess, really, more than anything. But uh, if the Lukoski device has all these real high-end frequencies, and I'm receiving this frequency also. Would it not drive this frequency deep within the body all over? Maybe. But, you know, what I'm thinking is, assuming this works out fine, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to get a second one because I should be using the number two out also for the carrier wave and the number one out as the um, base frequencies I want to run. And like I said, I was just kind of putting this as a joke, sexual weakness, you know. I mean, that's a selling topic, and everybody wants to know that, right? Everybody, that's that's what sells, right? But, um, 
actually what it loaded up is frequencies that are pretty common um 20 like a, well actually the frequent the frequencies that are most often used pretty much by people that seem to be pretty effective effective for a number of things in general ailments is frequency 20 465 727 787 and 880 they if you look at the list, um, there's like a big, huge number of things they supposedly address. So if you're going to experiment with that, it's always good to use those. So actually three out of those five frequencies um, has been loaded up in this. And like I said, the 10,000 frequency allegedly is the frequency of the cell. So if the frequency of the cell is low, it's, it's supposed to like help it out a little bit. I don't know how you know. I don't know how well this works. I'm curious. You know, I don't feel a thing. <laughs> I mean, I can't tell I'm being treated or anything or with any kind of frequency. But uh, I'm I'm gonna probably get the other one, the other device, the other output too, and um, use the carrier wave thing also with, in conjunction with this. Um, I guess the only way you can freaking tell if it's gonna work or not is to experiment with it. And I I really think this is a cool idea. To tell you the truth, I think it's really awesome. So. Anyway, uh, I just figured I'd put this out as a brief overview. You got the signal generator. Uh, you have to have the software, which is free. The signal generator is only like a couple hundred bucks delivered. And that's for the 20 megahertz one. Um, it's got two output channels plus the TTL output of 5 volts. So two put output channels you can use to run the base waves on channel 1. The red one and the carrier waves on channel two. I'm just running the base waves. It's going out uh, supposedly. Um, this device is picking up my DNA and sending the signal just to my DNA on my fingernails. So that's the theory behind it. And I figured I'd put this out here. Um, and uh, it's a very simple thing because. You could be running this damn thing eight hours a day, and I don't know how long you should run it, but uh, the cool thing is you don't have to be connected to it, and you don't have to be near it, and, um, you know, I really can't prove that works, but uh, I'm giving it a try, and I'm going to experiment with it, so I think it's kind of cool, so I guess this is probably the only video out there that shows, you know, how it's connected. There's the uh, spooky remote device with the, with the uh, masking tape holding the fingernail in place which is between these two circuit boards okay it slips in between there and the fingernail is right over that in the center of that circle between these two circuit boards that is receiving the signal from the signal generator and the signal generator's waveform is being produced by the computer going through the USB port and that's the program uh, producing the signal and this program is very is very powerful. I know even if you use this in a traditional form and say, I don't know about this, I was like, I'm a skeptic on this thing, to tell you the truth, the spooky remote, but um, it seems too spooky to me. But anyway, if um, <laughs> I can only say that, it, it's a good word for it because it seems a little too magical. But I do know that this device um, itself, using the pads, is excellent it puts out 20 volts which is more than enough you don't need any amplifier the cost is extremely low and you can modify the frequency so many different ways and the program is very very easy to use uh, you can modify the frequency using um, you know it's got it's it's kind of grayed out there right now because I'm running it right now but you can choose uh, feathering uh, feathering of different amplitudes different types of wobble on the frequency itself you can modify the frequency itself you can actually use an amplitude wobble you can use pulsing with it it's I, I mean I've the other rife machines uh, that are a hell of a lot more money than this like they're literally more than 10 times as much uh, do not do all this stuff so you know if you think it's uh, you know if you don't want to get ripped off and you want to try it as an experiment uh, this is pretty cool. This is pretty cool. I'm, I'm honestly, I'm pretty skeptical about this device here, but I don't know. Maybe it is. Maybe it is legit. I, I really don't know. It seems. Uh, 
I guess the word spooky is pretty wild. Is there is the right word because it does seem kind of spooky that um, it would go through um, you know over miles and miles and miles and be able to treat me. And uh, I'm not going to refute that claim um, that it does or does not work. And um, but I am going to try it out. And uh, if I feel that it worked for me, I'm going to continue to keep using it. So, you know, here it is, the Spooky 2 two-channel signal generator. And like I said, I'm going to get another one of these devices and run the second one off, the OUT2, which runs the carrier wave. And again, repeating myself, because I like to, I like to tell, make, make sure people understand what I'm saying. The carrier wave is running on the OUTPUT2 channel. So if you, if you want to run the carrier wave with this to actually theoretically bring the signal deeper into the body, you would run a second remote device at the 3,100,000, 3.1 megahertz, 3,100,000 hertz, which is a typical carrier signal.